We have all been working for this moment, and it wasn't always easy, but we are here now. We have gone through high school listening to announcements each morning, trying out for sports teams, making new friends, procrastinating on homework, and just trying to get to this moment. Now we are here, and you don't have to tell people you're on track to graduating anymore. Because after today, you will say you graduated. <laughs> Now, that may seem terrifying, but it's the start of a new chapter in our lives. Remember going into freshman year being a bit scared but also excited? This is similar, but better. The reason is that instead of going to high school, we are going into the world. Each one of us will go a different way, and we will get to choose that way. We will get to do what we want, go where we want to go, say what we believe in, and become the people that we want to become. Some of us will start a job, some of us will go to college. Some will serve the country in armed forces, but in the end, it will be our choice, and that's exciting. And maybe you don't know where you want to go yet, but because of your accomplishment today, you will have opportunities that could lead you to a life that you can be proud of. None of us exactly know who we will become, but by graduating, we now know that we can have a bright future. Now, I would like to introduce IPA student body president, Patrick Sullivan. Yeah! Patrick! Hello, and good evening to our families, administrators, and my fellow graduates of the class of 2022. I'm here in front of you today with the task of introducing our valedictorian, Stephen Caleb Devon Longus. I first met Stephen in fifth period, English 9, in Miss Sanders' class my freshman year. However, the two of us never really talked much until we became the secretary for our student council. As I had said, Steve, as I said, I had Stephen in class before, so I knew he was quite gifted in the classroom, but I was unsure what kind of person he was. So after a year of working with Stephen and getting to know Stephen, all I can think of when asked to speak about him is how hardworking he is, how kind he is, how dedicated he is to bettering himself and how when you need something to get done, Stephen is someone that you can rely on. Finally, as a representative of the Irvington Preparatory Academy class of 2022, I'd like to say congratulations, Stephen, on your accomplishment of valedictorian, and we're all waiting to see what you accomplish next. Yeah! <laughs> thank you Patrick for your kind words first and foremost I would like to thank all of you for coming out today to support such a strong inspiring class full of such diverse and successful individuals who made my high school career the best four years of my life I thank the admin team for always standing so close and making sure that we were successful and the staff who are so knowledgeable and patient I know it wasn't a walk in the park with my class if I recall correctly, I spent about 7 million hours in total making conceited remarks to Ms. Conaway, who at the time was Ms. Staff, my freshman year about graduating as valedictorian. <coughs> Never in a million years did I actually think this goal was realistic. Surely I didn't at the time. It wasn't until my junior year, which, mind you, was fully hybrid and I only attended classes twice a week, that I found out I was, in fact, valedictorian. I was sitting in my Spanish 3 class of only two students discussing class rankings with Miss Gibbs when I asked about my own. I'll never forget how her eyes widened in awe as I turned backward at my desk before realizing that the news she had for me was something of a dream to me. Since I got the news, there hasn't been a day that has passed I haven't reminded everyone who exactly was the valedictorian. <laughs> <laughs> I had plenty of competition over the next three semesters left in my high school career to solidify my spot here today. Kaylin, Allie, Thank you for keeping me on my toes, and thank you for involuntarily and probably unknowingly pushing me to work harder and harder every day to stand where I am today at this podium speaking to all of you. 
As a student who attended all of the Irvington Community Schools, I think I can speak on behalf of everyone walking with me today and saying that I wouldn't have achieved this level of education and this skill set anywhere else, and we are all forever grateful. I started, at ICES to, I started at ICES in fifth grade, and even though the school system was very new to me, I finally felt like I fit in with my peers and making friends was easier than ever. I will appreciate ICES for this forever. I went on to ICMS the next year and met even more amazing people there than I did in elementary school. I left Irvington halfway through my seventh grade year and completed the rest of that year in my eighth grade year online. I knew this wasn't where I needed to be, and I made one of the scariest decisions of my life to come back to Irvington as a freshman. I knew many of the people, however, at this point, I had experienced about six different hairstyles, many of which were atrocious. <laughs> and I didn't think anyone would recognize me. I had ended my eighth grade year with all C's and barely made it to high school. IPA pushed me to success, and the staff of the school is the reason why I am the person I am today. Support and relationships. These two concepts are the keys to success for any IPA student, and IPA focuses on them for all of us. To be respectful, responsible, safe, involved, and focused is the Irvington way, and it is imperative that all of us take these values with us everywhere we go. We can see here today that by following this standard, we will be successful no matter where life takes us. As I wrap up here today, I would like to formally thank all of you again for coming to support this class. I would also like to thank the staff for providing us with the tools we need in and outside of the classroom. And finally, I would like to thank my class for being the best class a senior could ask for. A special thank you to my parents. I wouldn't be the person I am today without you. Congratulations, Irvington Preparatory Academy, class of 2022. You will all soar to great heights in your jet black wings. And please do not forget, once a raven, always a raven. <laughs> Mr. William B. Durham, Jr. is a native of Indianapolis, Indiana. He earned his Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration from Morehouse College.